A Marine's wife called KUSI's Michael Turco last fall after a repair shop left her husband's prized motorcycle in pieces. Her husband was deployed in Afghanistan, but Turco says KUSI viewers got that motorcycle completely rebuilt before he got back home. You know, it really doesn't get much better than this. Yeah. This is just great news. When I opened this file, it didn't take long to get results. The pieces fell into place in a hurry, with San Diego Harley Davidson leading the way and lots and lots of Turco Files fans helping out. The hardest part was keeping the whole thing secret from the bike's owner, but we did it. He got back from Afghanistan this past weekend and says he had no idea what was going on. Surprise! When Marine Staff Sergeant Crispin Dickerson walked into the new San Diego Harley-Davidson showroom in Claremont, he wasn't sure he was looking at his own bike. That looks a lot like my bike. That is your bike. That, that <laughs> is your bike. That doesn't look like what it looked like before. <laughs> Surprise! How did you do this? Surprise. This is what that bike looked like in my first report last November. A stripped frame and a jumble of parts, some stored in cardboard boxes. I showed you how an outfit called Custom Concepts took 13 grand to repair the bike after a minor crash. They made excuses until Dickerson deployed to Afghanistan and then gave the bike back to his wife in pieces. The workers and the owner of San Diego Harley-Davidson saw that story and volunteered to fix the bike for free. They even gave it a custom paint job. This guy's a United States Marine. He just got back from the deployment fighting for our freedom. Anything we do to make him and all the rest of those guys out there, and the women out there, the, all the military services, we just can't tell you how much we appreciate it. And, you know, it's a great thing. It's my birthday today. What a, what a great birthday present to be able to do this. I'm so excited and I'm so thankful for everybody. I'm just so thrilled. I didn't think it was going to happen and I'm just so glad I did. Was it tough to keep it a secret from your husband? Yes. I am the worst person at holding secrets. I had no idea. I thought we were coming to get our trailer today with all my pieces. <laughs> Instead, he's putting on his helmet and going for a spin. <laughs> on the motorcycle he calls his pride and joy. I can't tell you after being off that for a year how good that feels. <laughs> thanks, Turco. <laughs> but the real thanks goes to all the people here at San Diego Harley-Davidson. They saw my first report, and within minutes, they were on the phone calling the Turco files because they knew they had to make things right. He ran into one bad shop. There's a lot of shops out there. A lot of people in our industry would, would love to have been lucky enough to work on this bike. So, so you got a great crew there. right here. And I do have a great crew. These are great guys and gals. And, and, and every once in a while, we get an opportunity for something like this to happen for, for a great American like you. So we really appreciate it. Thank I you. appreciate everything you guys did. It, it's awesome. And after everyone thanked him for his service overseas, he made a grand exit on a Harley that has a story behind it you'll never forget. Wow, it was like putting a puzzle back together with a it, jillion pieces. It really was, and a couple hundred of those pieces were missing. I don't know if you noticed, but they also painted his helmet yeah. to match the colors of the bike. Yeah. Wow. Match that new paint job on the bike. Really, just a little yeah. extra touch. Made it perfect, yeah, all the way around. Thank you, Michael. Michael Turco is always looking for ways to help our viewers. If you've got a tough problem you need solved, give Turco a call. 858-571-FILE, 858-571-3453.